Hi people! Um, I'm back. I've, uh, I'm doing a continuation of my um, haul video. I've been away for quite a while because our internet's been off so um, in that sort of time I've been shopping and more shopping and more shopping and more shopping. Um, so yeah, I've done quite a lot of shopping. Um, and I've got quite a bit to show you actually. Uh, obviously if you've been watching you've seen my I've got palette crazy ma uh, video and my boots I've got colour match video which is quite cool um, but now we're off to super drug so super drug super drug super drug super drug okay um, I went to super drug actually I've been there that was the board a few times um, in the last few weeks and I picked up this because I used to use this ages ago and it ran out and it's the um, original L'Oreal Youth Code Concentrate um, Cream and it was really good on my oh, it just it just my skin looked fantastic after using this and I used I, I used it right to the end and I never ever do that um, but I did with this um, so I went in the other day and I saw it and I thought I'm just going to try it again because I've really got to get back into this I've got the Youth Code Night Cream in the tub um, which is really nice and it's it's really nice to wake up fresh in the morning um, but I'm not very good at moisturising, like thick moisturisers during the day. I've got oily combination skin, but this um, sort of doesn't differentiate, differentiate between the two. It doesn't make me more oily in my oily areas, um, and it moisturises the dry bits. So basically, it's really good. Um, rejuvenating anti-wrinkle anti concentrate. Apply daily, morning and evening, um, on thoroughly cleansed skin before makeup and all that so yeah I thought I'd give this another go and I am going to review it um, so yeah pick that up uh, the next thing I picked up if I keep diving down it's because it's all in a bag down here um, it's just easier for me to do it that way right so super drug super drug super drug right I've got oh they've got I'm here no I'm here um they had an offer I don't know if it's still on but over the weekend uh, their Maybelline Dream Matte Mousses were on offer again um, and as you know, I love them. Uh, they were on offer for three for ten pounds, and I absolutely adore the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse, and so does my middle daughter. She's um, also obsessed with this stuff. She's got, uh, she uses it. She goes through loads of it. Um, she's a teenager. It happens. Um, so I picked up um, another three of these for ten pounds, um, and I absolutely love this. I'm not going to go on about this because I have in my previous videos how much I love my mousse foundations especially Maybelline and Barbara Daly from Tesco so that's that I've got those also while I was in Superdrug I went to the Miss Sporty counter and picked up a couple of lipsticks actually quite a few lipsticks um, and they've also got a new foundation uh, their version of the um, collection I think it is or it could be NYC no it could be NYC um, 14 hour stay perfect um, oh I can't get my words out uh, foundation and this is obviously a new one they bought this one out and this is the so matte stay perfect uh, perfect stay 14 hour um, yeah they're 3.99 each I couldn't quite get a colour match on either one so I bought two and I mixed them together which is fine um, even at 3.99 each they're still pretty good value um, they're not cakey they're not creamy they do go matte quite quick um they're quite uncontrollable actually if, if you don't put it on quick and rub it in uh, it does sort of like start to set, set and go all sort of like crinkly so you have to be quick what i do actually with this is um i spray my uh sam chapman buffing brush with um oh what do i spray it with <sighs> like a any sort of setting spray really um, but I make my own. I've got a glycerine and water setting spray that I make. Um, I spray my brush with that and get it slightly damp, and then this goes in a lot, a lot nicer because it keeps it obviously moist for longer on your face. So yeah, I bought those. I'll do a review on those. Might even do a demo if you want. If you want to see a demo on on these new Miss Sporties, um, leave it in the down bar and I'll do it. Uh, also, while I was in there, I went to the Gosh counter and picked up. This is what happens, Superdrug, when you put the sticker over the label, it comes off and we can't show people on here what it's all about. 
um, unique primer products. This is the Velvet Touchline Perfecta. Um, I first saw this on Lisa's channel, Spaces Number One Girl. She loves this, she raves about it, she uses it every day. Um, so, yeah, I thought I'd pick that up. Um, it's very, very similar to the L'Oreal Studio Professional Primer, which is a lot smaller than this. This one was quite good. Uh, this one was 11.99, but again, I had um, a lot of points on my um, beauty cards, so I took five pounds off that, so it was quite good. Uh, yeah, so I'll do a review on that as well if you want me to. Anything actually that you see on here, I'll do a review on. Just leave it in the down bar, and I'll um, I'll sort it out. Uh, what other foundation? I did get enough foundation. I'm back. Um, Max Factor have brought out a new one, Face Finity All Day Flawless. Um, do that so you can see it. That's, there you go, Face Finity All Day Flawless, three in one. It primes, it conceals, and it's a foundation all in one. And it's got SPF 20, so that's that. Um, lovely glass bottle, lovely packaging, lovely clear lid, and of course it's got a fantastic pump on it. <coughs> this one, this colour is, or my colour is, beige 55. They have got quite a few colours, uh, quite a good colour range in this. So yeah, we'll be doing a demo and a review on that as well. That was eight ninety nine special offer. I think it's going to be about eleven ninety nine, which is average for your sort of higher end drugstore foundations. I've uh, got a couple of mascaras. I've got a collection one. Uh, there you go, collection. I think this is the new version of their Big Fake Ultimate because um, I've actually got one of these and it's in black packaging. Uh, so it's either new packaging or just a new formulation and it's got quite a big brush in it this one is humongous if you don't like big brushes you will not like this at all look at the size of that um yeah not like you can say about that really is there it's a big one um so yeah i've got that one to try because I, I i liked the collection one and um, maybelline were having there, I think it's buy only two Maybelline items for ten pounds, so that was fantastic. So I got picked up a couple of them because I've never really had um, Maybelline ones because they're expensive. So I got the Volume, I think that's Volume Express Turbo Boost, um, which has got a slightly smaller brush on it, slightly nicer brush, more manageable brush. There you go, that's the brush on that one, um, and that is in. Uh, da -da -da -da. It reckons it can do it in one sweep. I don't think any mascara can do it in one sweep, so I really don't know um, what's going on there with that, how they can make that claim. Uh, so that's that one. And then I've got uh, Colossal Volume Express 100% Black in Ultra Black, I think this is. Yeah, this must be Ultra Black. That's that one. And this is sort of like a, a brush that's in between the other two. It's quite a big brush, but it's not as big as the collection one, but not as small as the other Maybelline one. <coughs> so yeah, I'll be doing them. Um, I'll be using them on and off over the weeks and like give you a review on which one I think is better out of all of those. And blah, 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 blah. let's have a look here. Yeah. What's the lipstick? Sorry, I keep diving off the camera. It's just my bag's down there and it's easier. Um, I've got three Miss Sporty lipsticks. In fact, I've probably got more than that because. I don't know where they are, but um, the three that I've got here that I'll show you, and I also got a couple of Rimmel lipsticks. Why did I put them on? It's bound to be in here somewhere, and now I can't find it. Uh, yeah. It's a Kate Moss one, and I don't know where I put it. Oh, how irritating! I've already filmed this like once or twice already, so I've probably just lost it to be honest. It's around here somewhere anyway, it's the new pink um, Kate Moss one. Right, so the first ones I'll show you are the uh, Miss Sporty ones. So the first one is Seduction, which is quite a dark, deep one. Like a dark brown. And it's really nice actually, I'll just swatch it there. There you go. Um, the only thing, I, I love Miss Sporty Lipsticks, the only thing I will say about these is the smell is revolting. Um, 
not a national at all, to be honest. Uh, this is sort of like a burnt orangey colour, which is coming out really pink on there. I don't know why. Um, but that's that one. You see that? And the third one I got is like a lilac-y colour. And you know I like my lilacs. There you go. lilac -y sheen. Quite sheer, that one, actually. You have to really build that one up. Um, so that's that one. There's the lilac one there. Burnt orange one and the seduction. And I did get. Oh, where is it? It's really annoying me. And I got two that uh, I got from the Rimmel collection, which I actually adore. Their lasting finish one. The first one is this really deep, deep, deep. This is called Amethyst Shimmer. I don't know why. Right, there you go. I'll uh, put that one up there. And these really do last quite a long time on the lips. So that's the Amethyst Shimmer there. Yeah quite a nice colour and this one is sugar plum which is darkish pink I suppose and I'm going to put that next to you'll see the difference or well, hopefully you will on camera you probably won't um, so there you go that's amethyst shimmer and that's sugar plum and they last for quite a while on the lips so I've got those now let me just check that that is everything I've got from super drug before I am um, finished this yeah if I could find my Kate Moss one, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous matte pink, then um, I would show you, but I can't find it. So that's a bit rubbish, really, isn't it? Um, anyway, it's a really gorgeous, gorgeous baby pink. Um, and if I do find it, I'll bring it back in another haul. <laughs> you know what I like. I will be back with another haul. Uh, yeah, so I think that's it for now. Um, I'll see you all in my next video. I hope you enjoyed that. Anything you want any more information on um, that I haven't spoken about like in depth, which obviously I can't because the time just goes up majorly, um, just let me know in the down bar and, uh, and I'll do a review. Any questions you want, I'll answer them, hopefully, if I can. Right, so I'll see you in my next video. Have a really good day and I hope you have a really... Hi, people. Um, I'm back. I've, uh, I'm doing a continuous...